Arc Survival Ascended has just released the new skin system, so I thought I would make a detailed video on how to use it, because it's very clunky currently. This is how custom cosmetics work in Arc Survival Ascended. We have player, tame, and structure skins. So first off, we need to download them. You want to load into Arc, load your game up, go into mods list. Once you're in mods list, you're gonna see browse mods. Down at the bottom of browse mods is something called custom cosmetics. Now, Wildcard has just added a new one, Crazy Cosmetics, today. These are currently the official skins for Ark Survival Ascended. So you're going to want to install these, download all these, and make sure you have these installed. This is step number one to get your skins. Now, once you've got your skins installed, you're going to want to join an official server or an unofficial server. For testing, I'm going to join my single player server. Once you load into your game, you want to put your player character down once to respawn. Once you've respawned, you'll get a cosmetics tab like this and you'll have a survivor costume skin you'll have structure skins and you'll have creature costume skins first up we're going to look at the survivor costume skins so once you've respawned and downloaded the mods you can right click on this and you'll see the custom cosmetics that you've downloaded so at the moment we've got steamboat mickey and steamboat mini and there we are now i am mickey mouse that's how easy it is for the player skins but there is some more to it you have to actually drag it onto the piece of armor. If you want to wear it in a slot, you have to right click the, the chest piece you want to put it on. It's got to be the chest piece to put the skin on. If you want to put it on some armor and then you drag it on. So very finicky at the moment, but that's how to get the player skins currently. Ark just also added a heap of new helmet skins that we can add. So, racer hat. Wig as well. And a wig. So each piece of armor has separate cosmetics for them. And we can put the skins on our structures now as well. So for your structure skins, it's a similar process. Go to the cosmetics tab, right click, and find the cosmetic that you want to attach to the item. Each cosmetic attaches to a related item in the game. So this clean glass wall, replace wall structures with this texture. So once you've got it selected, right click place, and then you can go around your base and even turn your wooden walls into this. Put the skins on anything at the moment and this even works on official servers currently so pretty crazy change to the game but pretty awesome too there's going to be some really cool aesthetics around there's a weapon rack which attaches to a medium decor box so arc has put a new structure in the game so search for decor box and what I didn't realize previously was there's three different sizes down the bottom. So we can put our medium decor box here. You can actually attach it to the wall. And then on the medium decor box, we can go to our cosmetics and place our weapon rack. And then this has inventory. So we can put some weapons, the weapon rack. So very finicky, very tedious right now, but that is how to do the decor box placed items. Now Ark did just add some more skins. So we've got a lot more skins here in the building. So the armchair, we've got a crazy chest, a sofa. So let's try the sofa and that attaches to a decor box. So decor boxes are gonna be your best friend for this. Apply to a decor box, it says, but then it says can only be placed on a wooden bench. So very confusing. Once you go to place the item, sometimes it'll tell you what it actually needs to be placed on. So now we put down a bench, find the corresponding item that it relates to, go to your cosmetics, right click place, and now we have a chair. The base is looking really cozy and modern. The aesthetics don't really suit the survival game theme, but at least it's going to make it a lot more fun to dress up your base. And now we can place our round table there. Now we can sit on it as well. So they are interactable. Although there's a bit of meshing going in there. So 
That's going to be interesting how these skins change official. You can also further customize these walls and it's got skin options on it. So you can make it one way in or opaque so that now it's a black looking metal wall on wood. This one doesn't have skin options. Neither does this one. But these have a lot of customizations and you can even change the border. Toggle the top off, toggle bottom. Glass options, one way out, or one way in. So now it's, I can see through on the out inside, but they can't see in. Now third, we have creatures. So for creatures, once it is released, I think there'll be the similar option here. You'll apply a custom cosmetic skin to this, say for instance, a raptor skin, and you find your raptor and you equip it to the cosmetic side here. I will update this when a creature skin is added with a link to a quick video on that when it's released for you guys too. But for now, this is how creature skins are gonna work very much the same as the player skins. So don't forget to like and subscribe if you guys found this video helpful and if you guys wanna stay up to date with the skin system in Ark. I'm gonna be covering it as much as I can and making some custom skins myself. So if you're skilled in that area, let me know in the comments below. I'll see you guys in the next one. You guys are legends, thanks for watching.